What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. I'm Picasso. Thanks for joining in. Today I have a special video for you guys. We're going to be learning something and it's by no means something new per se, um, but it's new to me and I feel like it might be new to most of you if not all who are watching this video. But we're going to learn something today and it's basically we're going to be taking something that we may have already laying around. I have a couple of them laying around. You may have one or a couple laying around as well and we're going to be turning those back into something more useful and giving us more functionality out of it okay you ready let's go all right so we are here at my desk this is my main desk in the office here so i don't know about you but i have a lot of these laying around okay here's one here's two this is my main one I have one up there, I have one there, and I have another one there. So what I want to do is, it just came to me, right? Because I watch a lot of Work From Hype. He's one of my new favorite YouTubers. I'll leave a link to his channel down below. Go ahead and check him out. And I'm just, I like extra functionality. I like when something can just do more than what it is usually intended to do. Right, as you see here, this contraption, I went and I made this, and this is my double keyboard, de my double decker keyboard <laughs> thing for controlling both of my PCs, right? This is for the main one, this is for the laptop that's behind there. Um, both Alienwares, I know a lot of people don't really like the Alienwares, I don't know why. But when I am recording or streaming, I like to use uh, 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 Streamlabs, right? So if I go ahead and I run Streamlabs, it's going to pop over here on this monitor and I'll get my fold out. Okay, Streamlabs is going to pop up. Oh, it's loading up and stuff like that. But I'll get my fold out. I do also have it on another device that's not here right now. Now that I have Streamlabs desktop up, and this is for recording gameplays and stuff like that. Now I can go on my device here and I can go to Streamlabs controller, right? So this gave me the idea and now I can control Streamlabs using this device, right? So if you look over here at Streamlabs, I can go to uh, stream starting. See, it's gonna go ahead and change to stream starting soon. Be right back and stream ending. Right? I can mute the microphone, I can put on the webcam, remove the webcam, change scenes, yada, yada, et cetera, et cetera. I can do all of those things, right? And it got me thinking because this is basically like a stream deck or it takes the uh, functionalities of a stream deck, right? So, why, so basically, how can I get this type of function out of my device that's going to control my PC, right? So I got looking around and I came across an article about macro deck. So I figured, you know what? Why not try and turn the S10 into a macro pad that gives us some extra functionality that when it's at my desk, I can simply go like this, drop it on a stand and have it right here in front of me. And while I'm working, I'll be able to take care of other stuff, whether it's uh, uh, um, open up a program, scrub music, volume, I, and to be honest, I'm saying these things, I don't actually know what the function is going to be, like what I'll be able to do and what I won't be able to do. I'm not aware of that because I've never tried this before. So in this video, we're gonna try it together. I have the application downloaded on my phone. It's called Macro Deck, and I've gone ahead and downloaded it on my PC as well. So what we're going to do, we're gonna go into the download folder, which I have over here. And here it is, macro deck 2.13.1 win. So I'm gonna go ahead and install macro deck on my PC. It's an unknown publisher. I'm gonna take the risk. We are going to select English, click OK. Now I advise everybody to read all of the license agreement, make sure that there's nothing fishy going on. Then after that, we're going to click accept and we are going to go next. We're going to create a desktop shortcut. We're going to click and actually, let's see, where's it going to go? Uh, that's okay. 
All right, we're gonna let it install. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and click finish. Now that that's done, I'm gonna close this down. Here we are, welcome to Macro Deck 2. Welcome to Macro Deck 2. And you know what? I am actually going to, let's get back stream, uh, let's get back stream labs up here. So you guys can actually see what's going on a little bit better. And when we get to the device, I will record the device's screen as well. I'm going to mute that microphone because there's, it's going to, <laughs> it's not really necessary. So I'm going to record over here like that. There we go. So lots of recording going on. Okay. So you guys will be able to see it better from the screen capture device and let's go English. Now here we have, what is this now? So this is saying configure your network. The network adapter is ethernet. Yep, that is that port is that and now it says it's really important to select the correct network adapter or otherwise you will not be able to connect with the client to server. In most cases, the name of the network adapter looks like Ethernet or Wi-Fi and the IP address is mo in most cases looks like that. The default port for macro deck is 8191. If some other applications use this port, you can change it. Okay. So now I am using an ethernet and my phone here, my device, not sure if it's going to be able to connect because it's going to be on Wi-Fi. So should I go to Wi-Fi or should I go to ethernet? Because obviously my device does have Wi-Fi as well. We're going to start with ethernet. Again, this is the first time I've ever done this. I don't know exactly what to do. So we're going to leave everything as is and let's click next. Now it says automatically check for updates, automatically start with Windows. I'm going to automatically start it because I'm going to set up a cord here. So this device will always be here, uh, plugged in, ready and waiting to go for me in the mornings when I get here to start the workday. All right. And let's see, finish. Okay. So after starting macro deck, a dialogue from Windows Defender Firewall will appear. Please check all boxes, private networks, public networks, and if it exists, domain networks. If this dialog box does not appear, you still ex uh, and you still experience connection problems, please visit the wiki or the Discord server for help. Got it. All right. Now, is it going to start or do I have to start it? Let's wait a second. It's doing something and there we go. All right. Okay. Now, <laughs> I have no idea what to do here. I have absolutely no idea what to do. All right, let's get on our device, okay? Let's get on our device. We're going, I'm going to start the recording on the device as well, so it will give you a better look. Um, yeah, I'm going to go like that. And then, Okay, we're gonna go because I'm pretty sure it's in landscape mode. So I'll record this and start recording. Now I'm gonna put the device there just like that. So now we're recording on the device. We have that. So now let's open up. I'm gonna pick it up. Let's open up macro deck. Here we go, macro deck client. And then we have add a connection. So name. Do I need to put the name in there? Uh, we're just going to put in the IP address. That's that, that, that. And uh, that, that, that. And that, that. And that, that. Okay, uh, so we got that. What else now? We have that. And then the name. So. Hostname and port, I don't see a name thing there, but they say it's usually ethernet, right? So I'm just gonna put ethernet in there. Um, ethernet. Okay, and then I'm gonna go confirm. Now what happened, do I click to connect? Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. I'm going to, oh, you can actually block it as well. Nice, okay. So if somebody tries to connect and you did not authorize that, you have the option to block it. Very nice. All right, so now we have it up here and we have it here. 
So now what can I do? So I've never done this before. I have no idea what to do. Um, I know we can make more columns. Oh, that's cool. And you see in real time, it actually changes it on the client and on the device. I'm gonna stick with five right now and we have three rows. So we can make four rows and more columns. All right, we'll stick with the default. So what can we actually do? Um, let's see, we click this little thing here installed i guess these are like uh modules this is the name and stuff oh this is the name for it i'm gonna call it uh picasso uh s10 i'm gonna call it that okay picasso s10 there we go profile i don't need to trouble anything picasso s10 um so let's go back here so let's go online let's see what there there's icon packs there's plugins this is pretty cool this is pretty cool so auto clicker no description provided check the rep uh, repository for more information this is auto clicker so i'm guessing it clicks things all right uh oh streamlabs obs plugin Okay, so macro deck plugin for Streamlabs OBS desktop application integration. That's cool, but as you've seen, I've already have I already have you know something for that. Then there's OBS. We have Hell Divers 2 Stratagens. Now these are icon packs. I'm just gonna install that for because why not? Um, we'll figure out how to put that stuff on. So actually, you know what? Why not get the Streamlabs OBS as well? Why not get that? Maybe we'd be able to like set up plugins. So when I'd like to open Streamlabs and actually to use it, so I don't actually have to use my other device. I could just use this device to take care of everything. I think that would be pretty cool. Okay, uh, the plugin can control your home assistant smart home. All right, let's try that. Although, do I want this? Do you want to configure home assistant plugin right now? Uh, no, I actually might not use that one. Uh, macro deck media controls controls most of the media players. Next previous pause. Okay, I already installed that one. What else? Control Twitch using macro deck. Um, I don't do much on Twitch now, but have I streamed on there yet? No, let's not do that right now. So it looks like there's going to be some type of uh, setup as well. So one that I think that is a definite must is Windows Utils, right? A collection of some useful functions for controlling Windows. We're definitely gonna be checking out that one in this video. And then we have some icon packs here. Lime icon packed, uh, clean icons, and fluent. I'm gonna get the fluent. That's installing, and I'm gonna get the lime one as well. Uh, you know what? Might as well get the clean one also. Now I'm sure there is. I'm sure there's more to get, right? Because uh, there is a GitHub for it. So I'm sure that if we go on the GitHub, um, we'll be able to find more things. I don't use Spotify anymore. Anymore? Anymore? I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Let's install that one as well. Um, yeah, so that's all that's here from the extension store. Okay, and uh, let's see, what was this? Oh, that's that. Ask on new, uh, allow all new connections. Nope, ask on new connections. Yup, make sure you have ask on new connections, right? Because this is a video, you guys just saw the IP address and all of that. You guys might try, but when I see it, I'm going to know to uh, not allow it. <laughs> Um, okay, and what is this? This says, okay, okay. So I think we can actually put some stuff, or are these the things that I downloaded? These might be the things that I downloaded. Home assistance, macro, all that stuff. So here's date. So now what do I do with it? What does this do? String, date, stuff like that. Okay, so if I go back here, how do I now add? So this is profile one. Okay, so this is going to be, can I name this differently? I want to name it um, home. Home or main or something like that. I'm going to, yeah, I'll name it home. I'll name it home. Home. Okay. 
what can we do? We are going to click this. Let's click a condition. What is that? Okay. So that's the if and maybes and all that type of stuff. Let's try. Okay. Let's try action again. Uh, let's go with write a text, open a file, command line prompt, increase volume, start application, mute volume, explore controls and hotkey. Let's start with the basics. Let's go increased volume. Okay. Let's go increase volume. Uh, just tap over here and I think we get an icon pack. Here's some icons and I want to increase volume. Let's just put a plus. Okay. And label. Let's just go volume up. Let's click. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now it showed up down here as well. So if I go, Oh, look at that. The volume goes up. Hey, that's kind of sick. All right. Let's do another one. Is it edit? Yep. So now since we have that, let's obviously go, uh, volume down, decrease volume. Okay. And then we will use the same icon pack and give it a little bit and we'll use the minus and then it's going to take a and then we will say volume uh, down, of course, click OK and there's volume down. So now you can see the volume is going down. Look at that. If I hold it, so nothing happens if I hold it, you have to press it. Okay. Now I did see on long press, something like that. So if we go back to edit, then on long press, will it do the same thing? Let's see. Let's go to this. Let's go back to increase volume. Okay. Okay. And let's go to volume down. And then on long press, we wanted to decrease the volume and hit OK. Oh, it didn't save. What is this up here? Arrow, macro cause and arrow, application thread, something on reference, instance of an object, and something. So, so there's some errors here. Okay. I have some errors because you guys may not have noticed. I tried some other stuff and it didn't work. <laughs> I just cut it out of the video because again, I have no idea what's going on here. I have no idea what to do. Right. So, um, yeah. So let's try this now. Um, holding it down. I'm pressing and holding it down. It's not okay. So I don't think the long press, I didn't configure that correctly. Um, cause I'm pressing and holding and it's not doing anything. So, I have to, you know, really take some time to figure this stuff out. There's so much to do on long press, on, on event, all of those things. Wow. Okay. Um, let's try one more thing. There's so much things in here, but I'm not a professional. I'm going to have to research. I'm going to have to log into some of these things to really figure it out. But, um, let me try one more. We're going to go windows util. Um, I'm not trying to start application one because that one kind of just befuddles me. It's I, I'm completely befuddled. Let's go mute. And what is that? Oh, you can add something. Wait a minute. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So you can add more to it. Interesting. I did not realize. Oh, are we on long press? We're on long press. Um, that's not what I want to be on. On press, action, windows util, and then mute the volume. That is what I want. We are going to get an icon here. Let's see. So for mute, I will use, I think I've already seen the one I'm going to use. I'm just kind of searching. Oh uh, no, that looks like a more of a record button type thing. I'm going to use the thick minus sign. This one, that's what I'm going to use for mute. Okay. And I'm going to go with, of course, mute. No, just mute. Just that. 
and then I'm going to hit OK. And then when I go like that, we are muted. Perfect. OK, so there's a lot of things that you can do with this, um, guys. I hope you see it. There's so much more you can do, obviously. Like I said, I tried some things before, completely messed up. I'm a little embarrassed, <laughs> but I had to cut those out because, yeah, I didn't want to show you guys how terrible I am when it comes to certain things. Okay, um, so that's going to wrap up this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. As you see, there is so much things that you could do with it. But if you do have, you know, a tablet, a phone laying around and you're wondering what to do with it, don't just let, let it, you know, accumulate dust in the drawer. Try this out. I'm going to spend some time now and try to figure out how to get some serious functionality out of this because trust me it looks like i mean come on you see it. there's so much things that it can be done i gotta figure out how to get it to start programs uh you know launching the program and connect my accounts and stuff like that and honestly i think i just hit the gold mine this i'm gonna be using on the regular that's gonna wrap it up as always i'm picasso if you enjoyed leave a thumbs up really appreciate it. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. Um, hit that subscribe button. Ring that ding-a-ling button so you're notified anytime a new video goes live. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I'm out.